Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at installing the Solara RV slide out awning. Now this is available in a bunch of different sizes and also two color configurations. Here we have our black as well as a white and all of this is going to be installed on a KZ Durango. Once you get to your campsite and you have your slide outs out, you get to really enjoy the space that your RV offers. But with those extended out, it really opens it up for any leaves or sticks or even bugs and water to get on those slide outs. And when you slide that back in, you run the risk of not only damaging your seals, but also all of that making its way inside of your RV. This just creates a nice uh, protective layer here for when your slide out is completely extended and that way if anything lands on here as this rolls back up all that stuff's going to fall out rather than inside of your RV and especially when it comes to moisture if you're out in the rain and you get some of that water build up in here once you slide it back in that can create mold inside of the RV that's very hard to get rid of so this is a good added layer of protection to prevent some of that. Another added benefit to the slide topper is it's going to keep the sun from beating down on the top of your slide out and that's going to keep the interior of your RV a little bit cooler and your AC working a little bit less. The canvas on the slide topper is made out of a 13 and a half ounce vinyl which is going to be a little bit more of an upgrade than your typical slide out which tends to be about a 10 ounce so you get a little bit more durability from the canvas but also this is going to resist any cracking during the winter in fact it holds up to negative 25 degree Fahrenheit weather so even if you're a cold weather camper that you don't have to worry about this cracking or breaking down. Overall, the installation's pretty easy. I do recommend having an extra person to help you kind of slide it into the rail. And you also wanna have two ladders that are gonna be tall enough to be able to reach the height of that extrusion rail. And speaking of that install, let's take a look at that so you can get yours installed. And before we hop up on some ladders to get this installed, we're gonna to want to do some assembly on the ground here. So grab your arms and we're gonna be sliding these into the end. And you're also gonna want that Phillips screw that's gonna be a self-tapping style. We'll just align that hole and then with my drill here and a number two Phillips, we'll go ahead and get this mounted in. You can go ahead and do that to both sides. Next, we're gonna get our brackets ready and you're gonna to wanna to pick up some butyl tape and we're gonna be putting this on the back side. It's gonna not only help keep this up there for us while we get our screws in, but also when we drill in, it's gonna create a nice seal to make sure water doesn't get in there. So we'll just go ahead, get this placed on there and try your best to line it up there on those holes. And then we'll peel this off. Can be a little bit tricky to work with sometimes. So now we'll head up and get this mounted. You're gonna to wanna to grab your square head screws and we are gonna need, it looks like five of them. Uh, so make sure you have your bit and we'll go ahead and get this drilled in. So you're gonna see that there is an edge on one side. I'm gonna have that facing up and we're gonna get this all the way over to the side of this bracket and I'm just gonna use our slide out rails here uh, to kinda of align this, make sure it's nice and straight. And as I mentioned, that butyl is gonna kinda of hold it in place. So go ahead, take our square bit and get this mounted up. So now when getting these in place, make sure that you're checking your hardware. There's gonna be some flathead ones as well as button head and we want this as flush as possible because we'll be sliding that rail in place. So just make sure you have those proper ones before putting these in. Then we're just gonna go ahead and repeat on the other side. Now your next step is going to be installing your extrusion rail and sometimes uh, your RV will actually come with one or if there's an existing one, so you don't have to worry. You can actually use this as it's going to be universal or at least be able to allow this one to slide on. Now, if you need to get yours installed, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have this about three inches above and kind of run parallel, make sure it's nice and straight and then just zip that into place using those button head screws that are in the kit. And just as we did with our brackets, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you put butyl tape along that as well. Now, we're gonna open up this end so it allows us to slide this in a little bit better um, with that extrusion rail. We don't want it to catch along. So we'll open this up just using a flathead screwdriver on this very end. Just kinda of open this, widen out that edge. 
And then you go ahead and get your ladder set up and grab an extra set of hands. Now to make it a little bit easier, you wanna unravel this kind of one rung, give you a little bit more room to be able to feed this in. And you'll take this uh, little tube here and this is just gonna slide into our extrusion rail making sure you don't catch the fabric on that metal. So having someone at this spot is really beneficial. We also have another ladder set up. So that way we have someone that can kind of support this. And then we have our other ladder set up. That way when we get to a certain point, we can kind of transfer this down and be able to get this in place. So we'll kind of just kind of get it nice and aligned even. And then letting this kind of unravel here should hold itself up. And then we can grab our brackets and pop back up here. Now we'll take our awning and kind of just roll that back a little bit to where our arms are gonna be in place. We're then gonna take our bracket and slide this through the arm that we previously installed and then put this into our channel and just kind of slide this down. Make sure it's aligned up with that plate that we installed. And we'll do that on both sides and that's gonna allow this to support itself and then we can get our hardware in place. Now you do have two height adjustments on each of your brackets. You have a lower and a higher one that you can kind of set it at. Make sure obviously they're gonna be identical on both ends, but also uh, raising it up a little bit is gonna allow this to clear. That way when the slides out, it's not gonna rub against it and burn through your awning. So adjust accordingly to your installation. Now, once we have this all aligned, I've double checked both sides to make sure that it's evenly spaced. I'll go ahead and we have our small grub screws that are included. We're gonna go ahead and tighten this down into that rail. So we have ours set, um, our brackets on the bottom slots. So we've really raised this up. We're gonna to wanna to get our grub screws in place on the bottom here. And that way when we tighten down, it's gonna hold that in place. And I'm using a, uh, I have a hex bit here. You can use an Allen key, but go ahead and tighten these down. They should get snug. Uh, mine is, it's not quite, it's, past flush here but kind of you don't need to go crazy here as long as it's kind of biting into that so tighten down until it's uh, you know got some tension on it and then we'll go ahead and do the same on the other side now before we mount anything else up we're going to want to make sure that this is aligned properly and the best way to do that is going to be to extend it out and what we'll do here is we have our safety pins in you're going to want to reel this back to take that tension off and really in this back I'm going to take my pliers here and that tab, once we kind of pull this out, should be able to, you'll see this bottom part here. If you grab there and pull that out, that should allow you to kind of get this out here. And we're gonna have one on the other side, but keep in mind when you reel that back and pull this out, uh, once you get that other one out, it's gonna to want to spring roll back. So just kind of hold on to it and then slowly allow it to go up. Now, once you get these pins removed, I recommend holding on to them. Um, that way, if you ever have to take this down, you can put these back in place and it's not gonna unravel on you. So with these out, I can feel the spring kind of tensioning up. I'm gonna just slowly let this out. And now it's holding itself up. So now at this point, make sure you have everything cleared out of the way and we're gonna extend our slide out. Now, once we have it extended out, we're gonna check, make sure there's no major wrinkles or anything. And if we need to kind of tug on this a little bit just to kind of iron that out, that's gonna be a nice time to do that now before we roll it back in. And also just watch it and make sure that it's rolling up evenly. Now with this rolled back, you're gonna see some small minor wrinkles here. The main thing you're looking for is that it's not overlapping on itself. Um, and if that's the case, you can kind of tug on each side and kind of adjust accordingly and run it out and make sure that it's nice and even. Uh, once this kind of goes out in the heat, it's gonna loosen it up and those, those small little wrinkles, those will iron out pretty well. So now that we're happy with our location, we're gonna go ahead and mount our bracket here to our arm using our self-tapping screws. We'll also want to run our small self-tapping screws in the extrusion rail and we want to make sure that we hit that bead and that's going to kind of hold this in place. Normally I go about an inch in from the outside edge of the vinyl. Go ahead and do that on the other side as well. So now we have this awning completely installed. All that's left to do is to do the other two on here and it's going to ins install exactly the same. So. Once you have these installed, you can start enjoying the fact that your slide out will be nice and protected. 
And that was a look at the Solera RV slide-out awning, available in black and white on a KZ Durango.